President Hinckley has requested that I now handle the business of the solemn assembly for which we are met. This is an occasion of great significance for members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints throughout the world. We shall vote by quorums and groups. Wherever you are, you are invited to stand when requested and express by your uplifted hand whether you choose to sustain those whose names will be presented. Those who are standing when appropriately called upon would be the ones who would be given the privilege to vote. The general authorities assigned to the Assembly Hall on Temple Square or the Joseph Smith Memorial Building will observe the voting in those gatherings. In stake centers, a member of the stake presidency will observe the voting. Should there be any negative votes, we ask that we be so advised. We shall now proceed with the business of this solemn assembly. The first presidency will please arise. It is proposed that the first presidency sustain Gordon Bittner Hinckley as prophet, seer, and revelator and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Those in favor, please manifest it. Those opposed may manifest it. It is proposed that the First Presidency sustain Thomas Spencer Monson as First Counselor in the First Presidency of the Church and James Esdras Faust as Second Counselor. Those in favor may manifest it. Those opposed may manifest it. It is proposed that the First Presidency sustain Thomas Spencer Monson as President of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles and Boyd Kenneth Packer as Acting President of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles. Those in favor may manifest it. Any opposed? It is proposed that the First Presidency sustain as members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles Boyd K. Packer, L. Tom Perry, David B. Haight, Neil A. Maxwell, Russell M. Nelson, Dallin H. Oaks, M. Russell Ballard, Joseph B. Worthlin, Richard G. Scott, Robert D. Hales, Jeffrey R. Holland, and Henry B. Eyring. Those in favor, please manifest it. Any opposed? It is proposed that the First Presidency sustain the counselors in the First Presidency and the Twelve Apostles as prophets, seers, and revelators. Those in favor, please manifest it. Any opposed? The First Presidency will please be seated. We invite Elder Eyring to now take his place with the Council of the Twelve. The members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles will please arise. It is proposed that the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles sustain Gordon Bittner Hinckley as prophet, seer, and revelator and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints together with his counselors and members of the Quorum of the Twelve as they have been presented and voted upon by the First Presidency. All in favor, please manifest it. Any opposed? You may be seated. The members of the First and Second Quorum of the Seventy and the presiding bishopric will please arise. It is proposed that the members of the Quorums of the Seventy and the presiding bishopric sustain Gordon Bittner Hinckley as prophet, seer, and revelator and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints together with his counselors and members of the Quorum of the Twelve as they have been presented and voted upon by the First Presidency. All in favor, please manifest it. Any opposed? You may be seated. The following will please arise wherever you may be participating. All ordained patriarchs and all members of high priests and elders quorums. Please arise. 
It is proposed that Gordon Bittner Hinckley be sustained as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, together with his counselors and members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, as they have been presented and voted upon. All in favor, please manifest it. Thank you. Any opposed may manifest it. Please be seated. Will all of the Aaronic priesthood please arise? That is, all ordained priests, teachers, and deacons. It is proposed that Gordon Bittner Hinckley be sustained as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, together with his counselors and members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, as previously presented and voted upon. All in favor may please indicate by the uplifted hand. Thank you. Any opposed may so indicate. You may be seated. Will all members of the Relief Society, that is, all women 18 years of age and older, please arise. It is proposed that Gordon Bittner Hinckley be sustained as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, together with his counselors and members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, as previously presented and voted upon. All in favor, please indicate by the uplifted hand. Thank you. Any opposed may so indicate it. You may be seated. Will the young women, that is all young women, 12 to 18, please arise. It is proposed that Gordon Bittner Hinckley be sustained as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints together with his counselors and members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, as previously presented and voted upon. All in favor, please indicate by the uplifted hand. Thank you. Any opposed may so indicate it. You may be seated. Now, will the entire congregation, including all of those who have stood previously, now arrive? It is proposed that we sustain Gordon Bittner Hinckley as prophet, seer, and revelator, and president of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, together with his counselors and members of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, as they have been presented and voted upon. All in favor, please indicate so by the uplifted hand. Any opposed may so indicate. Thank you. You all may be seated. We shall now remain seated as we sustain other general authorities and general auxiliary presidencies of the Church. It is proposed that we sustain as presidency of the Quorums of the Seventy, Elders Rex D. Pinnegar, Carlos E. Acey, Charles D. D. A., L. Alden Porter, Joe J. Christensen, Monty J. Bruff, and W. Eugene Hansen as further members of the First Quorum of the Seventy, Lauren C. Dunn, Jean R. Cook, William R. Bradford, John H. Groberg, Vaughn J. Featherstone, Dean L. Larson, Robert E. Wells, James M. Paramore, Hugh W. Pinnock, F. Enzio Busha, Yoshihiko Kikuchi, Ronald E. Pullman, F. Burton Howard, Ted E. Brewerton, Jack H. Gosland, on Hale Abrea, John K. Carmack, J. Richard Clark, Hans B. Rinker, Marlon K. Jensen, Earl C. Tingey, Alexander B. Morrison, L. Lionel Kendrick, Harold G. Hillam, Carlos H. Amado, Ben B. Banks, Spencer J. Condy, Robert K. Dellenbaugh, Glenn L. Pace, F. Melvin Hammond, Kenneth Johnson, Lynn A. Mickelson, Neil L. Anderson, D. Todd Christofferson, Cree L. Coford, Dennis B. Neuschwander, Andrew Wayne Peterson, Cecil O. Samuelson, Jr., John B. Dixon, J. E. Jensen, David E. Sorensen, and W. Craig Zwick. As members of the Second Quorum of the Seventy, Eduardo Ayala, Legrand R. Curtis, Elvisio Martins, J. Ballard Washburn, Durrell A. Woolsey, W. Mackenzie Lawrence, Rulin G. Craven, Joseph C. Muren, Graham W. Doxey, Jorge O. Rojas, Julio E. Davila, 
In Song Han, Stephen D. Nadal, Sam K. Shima Bukuro, Lino Alvarez, Dallas N. Archibald, C. Max Caldwell, Gary J. Coleman, John E. Fowler, Augusto A. Lim, John M. Madsen, B. Dallas Merrill, F. David Stanley, Kwok Yun Tai, Lowell D. Wood, Claudio R. Mendes Costa, W. Don Ladd, James O. Mason, Dieter F. Uchtdorf, Lance B. Wickman, and Bruce D. Porter. As the presiding bishopric, Bishops Merrill J. Bateman, presiding bishop, H. David Burton, first counselor, and Richard C. Edgeley, second counselor. All in favor, please manifest it. If there be any contrary, by the same sign. It is proposed that we sustain the general auxiliary presidencies as presently constituted. Those in favor, please manifest it. Any opposed may manifest it. President Hinckley, insofar as I have been able to observe, the voting in the tabernacle has been unanimous in favor of the proposals made. We invite the newly called members of the 70 to now take their places on the stand. Please come forward, brethren. Thank you.